School nurses all over the state say that as the pandemic wears on, they've seen a change in students' mental health. That's something that many of us have experienced with all of the uncertainty and changing regulations. But just as there are ways to build resiliency in our lives, there are also ways to help children. Yeah, Nadine Levitt says that starts with practicing mindfulness. She writes about some activities that will, your child will go through in life. In her book, My Mama Says Inside Me Lives a Village. She shared a few with New Center Maine's Amanda Hill. Well, mindfulness, I think, is this real-time awareness, sort of consciously sort of tapping into what's really going on around you, around your environment, your sensations, feelings, emotions, things like that. What's going on with so many kids right now? I mean, they have cell phones, they have television screens, they have computers at school now. What, what's going on? Is there a screen overload? And what does that mean for them? Well, whether it's a screen overload or just a lot of distractions, right? There's, it's definitely, there's a lot going on in kids' lives. And there's even just the list writing that you constantly have to get through things or the goals that you have to get through. It makes you race through life a little bit in an unconscious way. So it's really important to build in times where you can slow down, give yourself that space and just take it in and be mindful. What does that look like, building these healthy habits and rituals? I mean, it doesn't have to be rocket science. So it's little simple steps, whether, you know, when you're eating, for example, just take a second to point out, like, what exactly are you tasting? Can you taste every ingredient? When you uh, wake up in the morning, having a mindful minute where you can say, what emotions are you feeling today? Like, really, so that it's not just the loudest emotion, but you're digging behind it. Or when you're walking, what are the sensations with every step can you be aware of your environment or even just listening to a gong sound or a sound um, or silence what you think is silence and trying to become more and more aware of sounds further and further away from you things like that are just you know really helpful and they can be fun games that you can play with your family that um that build mindfulness you talk about some of the smaller things. What are some of the, the bigger activities? You talk about games. What, what sort of things should parents think about? We actually have a lot of resources with My Mama Says available for this too. But uh, for example, with emotions specifically and being aware of your emotions, you can make popsicle sticks um, with, with all the different emotions that you're feeling right now. Um, and then uh, every morning when you do your mindful minute, you can just grab the ones that you're feeling right now and put them into a cup. And it's a really helpful way for everyone to sort of see what exactly uh, you're walking in with and what you're dealing with. And uh, it sort of opens up conversations. Other things are things like uh, yoga, for example, or meditation where you can really create that purposeful intention to check in with yourself. It just builds emotional literacy, emotional intelligence, um, and that, of course, is foundational for relationships, responsible decision making, academic success. So it's a really helpful tool. And as adults, so many of us struggle with that. So it, it must help to start early. Especially now, I think there's so much news right now that's very overwhelming. And the thing with overwhelm is that it floods your central nervous system. And so you're no longer able to be responsive or to problem solve. It really stops you from um, responding in any sort of problem solving way. Uh, and therefore, um, you really have to be um, mindful. <laughs> Amanda Hill with that all really important mm -hmm. stuff right now, mm -hmm. for sure. Absolutely. You can learn more about Nadine Levitt's book, Mama Says Inside Me Lives a Village, by searching for this story on our website and New Center Main app.